my name is Stephanie and I'm a librarian at the Sangamon Valley Collection at Lincoln Library, Springfield's Public Library. And today we're gonna take a look at Fold 3 by Ancestry. Fold 3 has US military records from the Revolutionary War to more recent conflicts. Let's start on lincolnlibrary.info. As we scroll down, we see research tools and click on research tools. On the left hand side, we can narrow down by topic and let's click on genealogy and then apply the filter. These are all of the genealogy related databases that Lincoln Library subscribes to. Let's click on visit resource for Fold3. Fold3 is accessible from your home or from anywhere with your Lincoln Library card or here at the library without a Lincoln Library card. Okay, here we are on the home page of Fold3. They will be getting a new home page. So you can click on the upper banner to see what the new banner is gonna look, the new page is gonna look like. You can browse to see what kind of records they have. So you can browse by conflict, you can browse by place, type, or where the content came from. I'm gonna start with a search. I'm gonna start typing in a name. And as you start typing, it will fill in what kind of information you're putting in. So if it's a name, I'm gonna click on the name. And then I'm also gonna, you can filter by adding a date over on the left-hand side or here on the drop-down that says filter. I'm gonna add a date, the birth date. And as I type in the date, the year, it comes with a month. So I will add that. I'm gonna also add a conflict on the left-hand side of World War II. I'm gonna scroll down to this record here, the Veterans Affairs death file. That gives me the birth, the death, the enlistment, and the release. And with this record, I can print it by clicking on the tools in the upper right hand side. I'm going to go back and I'm going to change the name. I'm going to add a middle initial and see what that information can do for my search. Oh, I'm gonna take out the old name. And since we saw that his enlistment date was October 24th, 1941 in the, in the death file, I'm gonna click on that record for the enlistment. Now that didn't come up in my last search because now I have added a middle initial. And this gives me more information transcribed from the enlistment record. And again, I can print it from the tool icon. I'm gonna go back and do a new search. in a different conflict. And I'm not gonna add uh, any other information. I'm just gonna click on the second result here. And it is actually gonna bring up an image of a record. So if I wanna get rid of the information on the side, I just click on the show image information. I'll click that and that goes away. So this record, 
is the pension file uh, index, the pension index, and it does show you the date that he died and where, and his pension information. Again, I can, in the upper right-hand corner, click on the tools. I can download this image. I can also print it. I can zoom in or zoom out with the plus and minus. If I do go to the, want to see the Im image information and click on the eye icon, I can open, open that. And it gives me information about the Civil War Pensions Index. I'm going to do one more search. This could be of interest of uh, people in Springfield. I'm just going to do a topic, nursing, and click on the World War II Cadet Nursing Corps card files. And the first result is the publication or the collection of those records. And I'm gonna browse them, but it does give a description here what it is. And I'm gonna browse by state. And then you can also then go to nursing by the nursing school. And it does have records of Memorial Nursing School and St. John's nursing school on here. So then I'm going to click on Memorial Hospital of Springfield and then the surname. We'll click on this, the name and then the image. There are two images with this record and you can see these cards. They would be searchable through the search function if you search for her name but this is also a way to get to them is by browsing. And then you can see, go card by card. If you wanted to find patterns or just you were looking for people and you didn't see them coming up in the search. So as we go back, I wanted to thank you for joining me today and to our active military members and veterans, thank you for your service.